Hello, hello. Hello, happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. How was everyone's weekend? Finally calming down and it was a crazy weekend for us. It was nuts. We were just go, go, go the entire weekend. And yesterday we finally just kind of sat back, relaxed and enjoyed the warmth. It was, it was a good time. But yeah, busy weekend. What was everybody up to? You're tuning in, say hello. Just gonna wait a second. I have, we just came out of the pool, so I've got some crazy hair, crazy pool hair going on. That's just gonna be my look all summer. Like, let's be serious. Like, that's just gonna be what's, what's going down with my hair this, this summer. Crazy hair. I need to get a shirt that says crazy hair, don't care. Because it's a summer and I'm gonna enjoy and I don't want to spend time in the washroom getting my hair done. So pool hair is just gonna be the look for me all summer. If you are tuning in, say hello. I'm just using my shine wipes. And um, honestly, I think these are the most underrated, underappreciated, product that we have these things are fabulous um there are shine cleansing cloths and this is amazing like if you're those days where you're too lazy to wash your face you just grab one of your cleansing cloths and it will do the work for you not only do they take off makeup so good but they also cleanse the skin they're full of like, vitamin d rosemary olive oil bunch of different oils and sunflower oil and it's just so good so nourishing and hydrating and fabulous for the skin so yeah definitely these like are like the most i love this this product oh got some crazy hair happening it has been a hot weekend yes it definitely has today is scorching and so humid so humid right now there is a storm brewing, it's coming in tomorrow. So I'm sure some of you ladies have it right now. Humidity is just killing us right now. All right, so get all that sunscreen off. Where's my rose water? Close those pores. So freshening, I love it. Love it, so today, I'm sure you saw my little, my little, uh, name of the video that we're doing right now and we had a busy week weekend we on friday we had a wedding in the evening so i was away from the kids during then and then saturday all day we had our unique convention here and i was away all day again from the kids so sunday i just did not leave their side all day long we were swimming and spending nice quality family time i needed it because i missed them so much so, at the convention, I got some free goodies. So, I want to show you one of the lipsticks that I got for free. I've been wanting to try this lipstick uh, so bad that I've been kind of chicken to buy it. But apparently, it's amazing and it works for any skin type and it's a little scary. Trust me, I know. Like, what? Purple. What do you guys think? What are your first impressions of this? Because I'm telling you right now, it is not as scary once you put it on, I promise you that. We tried it on Sunday, or on Saturday. I had a bunch of people over on Saturday night when I got back from my convention. And I had five of us ladies put this on. All skin types, all different skin types, skin shades. And it truly is one lipstick that looks fabulous on every skin type, no matter how light or how dark you are. So, and I have a picture. We, I uh, took a picture of all of us. There's five of us and all different backgrounds and bright like fabulous oh my goodness it's so bright and so scary looking but it's so beautiful on it truly is so i'm using this today i'm excited i put it on and really fell in love with it i ever says like oh my goodness it's purple but it's gorgeous it really really is so it's called Swagger. That's our Opulence lipstick in Swagger. It's one of our new ones. So pretty. So pretty. If you love color, Swagger is the way to go. 
I know. Do you have it yet, Jody? Do you have swagger? I've wanted to buy it for a very long time. But I've always like, I don't know, I just, so I was too chicken to get it. So I'm so happy I got it at the convention. So happy. Because I'm, I fell in love with it when I put it on. Swagger is, I love it. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to show you guys it. Really, really am. It's so pretty. You do have it. Awesome. Yes, it is. And it truly, it does look amazing on any skin type. Okay, so I just put my face primer on. Let that sit before I put any foundation on. So I think I'm going to do my eyes first. So that sits well. Let that sit while I do my eyes. So, what do you guys want to see today? What color should I throw on there? I wanted to, I have a whole bunch of new uh, cream shadows I kind of want to show you. But it's just so difficult to choose one. So difficult. Whoop! Maybe I'll use this one, Tenacious. What do you guys think? You guys want to see that? Nice, like, brassy color. I can use that with palette number one. Get a nice bronzy eye going. What do you think? Let me just prime the lids first. Let's get these eyes all one tone. Look at the difference with the primer. Well, it's not technically primer, but I use it as a primer. Victoria's Cream Shadow. It really does just smooth out and create a nice even canvas for your shadows. I just want to get to the lipstick. I'm excited. I think maybe I'll just throw on some quick, a quick eye look because I really want to get to these lips. Hi ladies, if you're watching, say hello. Say hello, say hello. So I just put Victoria's Cream Shadow on my lid just to kind of blank out any of that discoloration in your lid if you have vein, if you have veiny eyes and it drives you nuts, then a nice um, eye primer or even our Victoria's Cream Shadow will cover that up all day long and it won't crease or budge because it does set and dry to a powder. Okay, so, hi Vivi, hi, I hope you had a safe trip home. I missed you on Saturday, I was so sad. I got home and I thought you'd be here and I was so sad you weren't. Okay, so let's do this. I think I'm going to do just a really nice, neutral, um, bronzy, kind of brownie eye. Because I want to get to this swagger. Hi, Alicia. Um, 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 um. Where is my... What's everyone doing? What's everyone do this weekend? It was a gorgeous weekend. Pretty much everywhere. It was so nice. What did everyone... What was everyone up to? Okay, we're going to use Tenacious. That's what's going to happen. Put these away. So, we're going to use this brassy, kind of bronzy, I don't even know, it's just so pretty and shiny. And it's going to be gorgeous. Cream shades are always gorgeous, no matter what kind, of, what kind of color it is. It's always just gorgeous. Alright, so, let's get some. Um, transition color going on. So I'm going to use palette number one in Chipper right here. And we're just going to create a nice transition between the lid. So I have no plan. I'm just going to wing it. We'll see what go happens. We'll see what turns out. I'm sure it's going to be good. And if it's not, it's all right. We'll just wipe it off. Chipper is like my favorite transition color on this palette by far. Because it's not too dark, it's not too light. And it just blends really well with any of, any color, really. It's a really nice, just neutral color. There we go. See how easy that was? Ooh. 
it is hot in here. We finally turned the AC on. And apparently this room's not getting any. The sun beats into this room. What is everybody up to? Say hello if you're watching. I got some silent viewers going on. Say hello where you are where you're tuning in from. And is it as hot as it is here? Because it's scorching. It's so humid. It's gross. Thank you for the shares, ladies. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we got a nice transition color. I don't know what to do. I think we should just put, we should just throw this tenacious on. Let's see what happens. So here it is here. I think we're going to put it kind of in the crease and on the lid a little bit. And then we'll brighten up the inner with a more bright color. Yes, it is hot. It's a hot one. So this is like a true bronzy color. It's so nice. I just like to dab, the cream shot, I like to dab on. Okay, I feel like they just go on better. And they go on where you want them to go on. And then once they dry, then I kind of um, blend them. It's easier to blend it when it's dry. So I'm putting it kind of on just like the far side of the lid. And then I'm probably going to put a lighter color as well in the inners there of the eye. Oh, Kentucky is probably, oh my goodness, 94. That's hot. Is it humid there too? Cause it's like super humid here and that's what kills us, it's humidity. So it kills us here in Canada, it gets really humid. Not just hot, but humid. Alright, so we have put it on there. And I let that sit and let that dry before I kind of blend it out a little bit. And let's see what we're going to use on the inners. See what palette has one. Well, spell completely wrong there. So palette one, we can use probably brass. These probably going to be gorgeous. It's like a champagne shimmery kind of color there. And it's so nice. It's probably one of my favorites on this palette. So let that just dry a little bit more. And then we're going to just dab on this brassy. Guys, I got a new brush. Woo! My sponge brush is back. I'm keeping this away from my son, so we doesn't eat this one too. All the time, yeah, I hate the, I hate the humidity. Yeah, it's supposed to start raining here tomorrow. We're supposed to get a storm tomorrow, which makes sense because whenever it gets like stupid hot here, there's a storm always following it. I'm just going to drag it so it blends evenly with that tenacious. So we put on. Guys, I'm excited for this swagger. Who's excited to see swagger? I'm excited to show you. See how that just blends really nice? You can't even see the different lines. You just see it. Nice blend going on. There we go. What I do want to do is just blend out Tenacious just around the corners here, just so it softens up and kind of just transitions with that chipper we put on first. Look at the shiny, like shimmery everywhere. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. That chipper that we put on first kind of just mutes the shimmery too, so it's not overpowering. 
the blend too. The blend's really nice. Nice and neutral. Bronzy eye. What are you guys thinking? Would you guys wear this? I'm thinking a lot would because I know a lot of you ladies love the whole brown look. This is palette one with Tenacious. Tenacious cream shadow. So pretty. One of my new ones that I got. And I'm in love. Tenacious is right here. I put it on like the outers. And then I use palette one everywhere else. I'm loving this, guys. And of course, always I always pair brown shadow with my brown liner. I just love the subtlety with the brown liner. It's not too dark, but it adds a little bit of depth, but not too much, not too overpowering like the black does. What do you guys think? What do you think about the eyes? Okay, let's finish this face off with a quick, quick and easy, a fabulous, where's my brush? Uh-oh. I seem to have mis misplaced my, my brush. Looks like I'm gonna have to use a crappy one. Oh, no, there we go. I'm getting my brushes slowly, guys. I'm building them up. So I'm gonna use my loose powder foundation. Can't even explain to you how amazing this stuff is. The coverage, how light it is, it's literally weightless. And the coverage is really good. And it's summertime. It's humid. You don't want to have to keep putting foundation on. And this loose powder is like a summer essential. Totally summer essential. And all I did was put primer on before that. I don't have any BB cream on. Nothing. I like to put it on like slowly. I don't like put on a crazy amount. Kind of like, like to build it up. Thanks for the shares, ladies. I really appreciate it. Loose powder foundation. Oh, so, I love it, love it, love it for the summer. There we go. We are good. Get a nice even complexion happening. And I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer under the eye just to brighten it up a bit. Always need concealer. For myself, I always need it. And I always go lighter, just kind of brighten up those dark circles under the eye. If you have them, you wanna go lighter. Okay, let that sit, warm up a little bit. Easier to blend in once it's all warm. I'm really excited for this lip this lipstick. You wanna see it again? It's gorgeous. Dun, da, da, da. Swagger lipstick. Oh, it's so purple. It's so gorgeous. I like lack of sleep this weekend, so I can definitely, definitely see it in my under eye bags for sure. <laughs> totally. It 
If you're watching, say hello. I see a lot of ladies tuning in. But no one's talking. What's up? What is going on with you guys? All right, see how that just brightens up under the eye? Totally. You want to make sure you just blend it really nice with the foundation. And I do, I will put a little bit of my press, or my loose transition powder under the eye just to, where's my brush? This stuff, it's fabulous. This is my transist, my um, translucent setting powder. And that's just gonna really set that concealer. And you know how when sometimes you have concealer that creases under the eye throughout the day? Gotta make sure you set it. And this is what the translucent setting powder does. It's gonna, ow, and I just poke myself in the eye. It's gonna set your concealer. It's gonna blur any imperfections and fine lines. It's gonna create a really nice filter on your face. That just kind of softens and blurs any of the stuff you don't want. So, translucent setting powder is a must for, for myself. I love how it nice soft, um, soft complexion and you know those apps on Facebook and stuff and Instagram where you can like soften your face. Well, that's what that's doing, but in real life. Okay, let's do these brows. I'm just gonna do a really quick 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 brow just with my palette number four when I'm in like I don't really want to spend too much time on my brows I just want to fill them in a little bit I use my palette number four my brush it has the perfect color Who's watching? Any questions, ladies? Always loving to answer your questions. Everyone is super, super silent today. I'm so here, oh my goodness. It is scorching. Thank God I have that loose powder on so my face doesn't drip away. That's the worst. Putting all this makeup on and you're like spending time, you roll it side, and it just disappears. It's not not a fun time. All right, let's just brush these crazy dark brows and kind of just, like, they look crazy right now. The crazy brows happening. Just soften them up. There we go. See the difference between that craziness and nice, soft, natural-looking brows? Just one little tool does that. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready for, I'm not even going to put any bronzer on. I do want to put a little bit of blush, but we're going to do a more of a simple look so we don't need bronzer right now and I'm too anxious to get this lipstick on and putting bronzer on. So let's get a little bit of blush, putting seductive on, my newest favorite for nice tan skin is seductive. Hi Jax. You being a good boy? I know it smells. I know everything smells so good. Right? There we go. Just a little subtlety to the cheeks. 
Okay. It's time for mascara. And then the final step, the lipstick. The big finale, the bold, because right now we have a really nice neutral look going on, which is good, which is okay, which is what most people like to see. And then we're gonna bring in the bold color. I feel like I wouldn't be able to rock swagger with a bright eye. For myself, if I'm doing a nice bold lip, I like to go more neutral eye. Who's with me on that? Who agrees? Who just goes all the way and does both? Because if you can and you do, fabulous for you. If I'm like going out for like dinners and stuff or like a special occasion, I like to do a nice like smoky look smoky eye with a nice dark lip that I do a lot but lots of color on the eye and the lip it's not really my preference good for you see that's awesome that is awesome and when I do a bold lip. I love doing a really neutral eye so that the lashes really stand out. That's what I did on Friday. I did a nice simple wing liner with a really bold lip. All right, that's one coat of our lashes. We're gonna let that sit. And oh my goodness, I forgot on Friday stupid me I don't know how I forgot this but now when I was doing my lashes with you guys I forgot to put the last coat of gel on stupid me never happened before so like I'm like why are like my like fibers and they're not like they don't fall off but they do like kind of have a little bit of fallout like tiny you don't even you can't really see it they're more like like they're smaller than normal lash hairs but I'm like, I forgot to put the last coat of gel on to seal them on. I'm like, stupid, stupid me. I don't know how I forgot that. All right, ladies, like, look at these lashes. This is just mascara happening right now. If you are not familiar with our mascara, this is our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, and it looks, it gives kind of a falsy look, but without the glue, the harmful chemicals, this, this product is 100% natural, 100% natural. Gluten-free. And of course, cruelty-free. Everything that we have is cruelty-free. It gives you gorgeous lashes. So this is two coats. I don't know if you can see. Two coats. And like two coats is what you usually put on for mascara, right? Like who, who puts on two coats normally? I think I usually did with any of our so I put two coats on and I'm just gonna seal it all in. This is the stuff I forgot last time. Stupid me. Stupid stupid me. You wanna seal all those fibers in so they stay and don't go anywhere. There we go, there's one that's done. And that one's done. And I just put a little bit of gel on the bottom too. There we go. Lashes done. See how those lashes really complete the look? Totally. Totally, totally. All right. I think I'm ready for this lipstick. Who's ready to see Swagger? I am totally. I notice that when I go back and watch my lives, 
I say amazing, I think. A lot, like ridiculous amount, like a stupid amount. And apparently totally is my new word now. I need to stop because that's just a, I sound like a valley girl. Okay, you guys ready? You ready for this swagger? So the, this is our opulent lipstick. It's a traditional lipstick. And oh my goodness, this color. So it is not as scary as it looks. What do you guys think? It definitely looks more bold in person on the actual stick. But once you put it on, it's freaking gorgeous. All right, let's see. What are your thoughts? Let's hear them. Come on. I can handle them. Right? Like, how pretty is this? Love it. I know. It's not like this purple color that you see. It looks amazing. And even when it sets. And Vivi, you missed it. Vivi, yesterday when I, or Saturday when I came home, I, used, I put on all the girls. That were here and took a picture and it looked good on everybody I promise you this is one color that doesn't matter what kind of skin type you have if you are super super pale or super dark this one will look good on everybody swagger and it's so bold oh my goodness it's so pretty and even when it sits and like sets like maybe 10 minutes, it looks even better on. Cause it kinda, the boldness kinda just kind of, I don't know, settles a little bit. And it's even prettier. When it just sets, oh, it's so nice. What do you guys think? Isn't that so nice? It's something that I would, as, now do you understand why I was kind of scared? Because yes, it is such a bold color. And purple hasn't been my thing up until like a month ago. That I've been buying all these dark purple colors for lips. And this is a really nice bright purple. So this is it. What do you guys think? Yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think I'm in love. And I'm going to have to wear it this week for sure sometime when I go out of the house. So, that is all I wanted to show you today. The big finale, Swagger Lipstick. Right? Nice? I love it. I'm so happy I got this one. I can check it off my, my uh, wish list. Thank you. Yay, thumbs up, thumbs up. Woo! Okay, that's about it. I just set all of this in so it doesn't go away. You want that to set and really stay all day. So setting powder is the trick for that. Okay, that's about it. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all on anything that I've shown or just any application tips and anything like that, uh, message me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in what I do and possibly think that you could pull it off too, which I know you can because I'm not special and anybody can do this, no matter what kind of makeup skills you have. I could never pull this off five months ago. It's only been five months. Yep. So if you have just curious, just message me and no strings attached. I will just give you details, no pressure. And I would love you to join my team and start your own little business. All right, thank, thanks again, and I uh, like and share this video, and you will get put into my, my draw for a free product I do at the end of the month. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.